Good afternoon, viewers. The okay, teacher today is Dr. Bosa Science. Dr. Bosa is a teacher at the Science Foundation College, the best school that teaches sciences. Also, this video is sponsored by the Science Foundation College. Today, we are going to look at respiration at a level. Respiration is the oxidation of organic substances to liberate energy in the body. Aerobic respiration requires oxygen while anaerobic respiration does not require oxygen. Organic molecules, usually carbohydrates or fats, are broken down bond by bond by a series of enzyme-controlled reactions. Each bond broken releases a small amount of energy, which is converted to adenoside triphosphate, or in short, ATP. ATP is the immediate source of energy for cellular reactions. Uses of ATP. ATP is the immediate energy source in the body for the cells. So it provides energy for synthesis of molecules such as for the synthetic pathway when you are synthesizing carbohydrates, you need energy. Synthesizing proteins, enzymes, the hormones, you all need energy from ATP. Provide energy for active transport. Active transport is the movement of particles against concentration gradient into the cell. Provide energy for circulation is, for example, circulation of digestive enzymes. Provide energy for muscle contraction. For example, contraction of the muscles in the lungs during breathing in and breathing out. Contraction of the heart, pumping of the heart. Anything which requires energy, even the thing requires energy, all that energy is obtained in the form of ATP. Substrates for respiration include carbohydrates as the first choice. Then next is fats. Fats produce more energy per unit mass compared to carbohydrates because they contain less oxygen and more hydrogen. Then proteins are only used as substrate for respiration in the absence of carbohydrates and Fats. Breakdown of glucose in the respiration. It occurs in three phases. One, glycolysis. Glycolysis is similar in both aerobic and anaerobic respiration. Then the next two occur only in the presence of oxygen, and this is oxidative decarboxylation, tricarboxylic cycle, and oxidative phosphorylation. Stages in glycolysis. Glucose, which is a six carbon compound, is activated by ATP to form glucose phosphate. Glucose phosphate undergoes isomerization or changes to fructose phosphate, still a six carbon compound. Fructose phosphate is further activated to form fructose by phosphate, still a six carbon compound. Fructose by phosphate receives inorganic phosphate group from the media and break down into two compounds, which are glycerate one fill by phosphate. Glycerate one fill by phosphate loses a phosphate group to ADP to form glycate phosphate and then glycate free phosphate loses a phosphate group to ADP to form ATP to form pyruvate. These are two molecules, two molecules, two molecules. Glycolysis occurs in the cytoplasm of a cell and any product pyruvate is reduced to lactic acid 
in absence of oxygen, all oxidized to carbon dioxide and water into a carboxylic cycle in presence of oxygen. Aerobic respiration. In the presence of oxygen, pyruvate molecule enter the mitochondria, where it is converted to a two-carbon compound called acetyro coenzyme A or acetyro CoA in the short. The reaction involves loss of carbon dioxide and a pair of hydrogen atoms, which is used to synthesize ATP. Acetyl CoA is oxidized carbon dioxide and water in the Krebs cycle to a carboxylic cycle or citric cycle. Krebs cycle in the matrix of a mitochondria. Before pyruvate enters the Krebs cycle, it first loses the carbon dioxide and two hydrogen atoms form Acetyl CoA. Acetyl CoA react with oxaloacetate to form citrate, which is a six carbon compound. Oxaloacetate is a four carbon compound. Citrate undergo decarboxylation and oxidation by loss of two hydrogen atoms to form alpha ketoglutarate. Alpha ketoglutarate undergo decarboxylation and oxidation by loss of two hydrogen atoms and the synthesis of ATP to form succinate. Succinate is a four carbon compound. Succinate is oxidized by loss of two hydrogen atoms to form malate. Then malate is oxidized to form oxaloacetate. Again, the cycle repeats. The last stage of Respiration is electron transport. It occurs in the membrane of the mitochondria and involves oxidation of hydrogen atoms to form ATP, as shown in the summary of electron transport below. In the summary, certain ATP molecules are produced per molecule of glucose respired. Mitochondria is an organelle for respiration. It is bound by the outer and the inner membrane. The inner membrane is folded to form crystal. Then you have the matrix. Within the matrix, you have the ribosome and saturated DNA. Produces cellular energy in the form of ATP. Adaptation to its function. It has necessary enzyme. The inner membrane is highly folded to increase the surface area for attachment of enzyme. Has on DNA for its own multiplication. Has large surface area which enables diffusion of gases. Anaerobic organisms. Obligate anaerobes survive only in the absence of oxygen. For example, C, tetany, which causes tetanus. Facultative anaerobe can exist in the presence or absence of oxygen. In the absence of oxygen, pyruvate is reduced to lactic acid in animals, or broken down to ethane and carbon dioxide in the plant. In the process called Fermentation. Basal metabolic rate, the minimum energy expenditure per unit time by endothermic animals at rest. Factors affecting basal metabolic rate, body size. Small organisms require less energy than big organisms because they have got a big surface area to volume ratio to lose energy. Body composition. Animal with the fats expend less energy than without fats because the fats are good insulators. Gender. Generally, men have got high basal metabolic rate compared to 
women. Egg against child children have got higher birth metabolic rate compared to adults, probably because of their body size. Climate body expends more energy on a cold day than on a hot day. Health some other diseases may lead to high birth metabolic rate. Hormonal level if you have got too much thyroid hormone, you may expend more energy than the person who is normal. Thank you so much for listening to this video. For notes on this topic and other topics, see, go to digitalteachers.co.ug website. Please subscribe to promote my work and my website. Also, to receive prompt messages every time a new video is uploaded. Atambula bulungi Mm-hmm.